it's Saturday, it's match day. But it's not Danska Bank Premier League action today because to be perfectly honest, like I am all the time in these videos, I have no money. Uh, so therefore, I'm going home. Port Stewart against Lisburn Distillery. And last year, I went to this game. It was on a Tuesday night, end of the season. And I uh, didn't expect anything and it turned out to be one of the best videos I did. There was everything. There was a hat trick for Zach Barr, who's now with Bally McCash. There was um, fighting. There was more fighting. There was arguing. There was all sorts of stuff. That was just a really good game. Uh, but we're back. And this season, distillery under Barry Johnson, ex Cliftonville legend, I suppose he's a legend at Cliftonville. Is now their manager. He took over uh, this season and he was at St James's Swiss last year and they got narrowly beat. Well, they didn't get narrowly beat, but they got beat in the playoffs against Bally McCash to get into this league. But Barry's in the league anyway. Um, so they've had to rebuild their squad. And then you've got Port Stewart under Johnny Law. Port Stewart have gone through a, a transition season as well, I would describe it as. A lot of players left at the end of last season, headed up the road to Mayola, boys at Tobermore. And Johnny Law had to bring in a whole load of new players. And he's brought players in from the Korean underage setup. The keeper, young Henry is his name, um, Connor, Connor Henry. He's brought in wee left back. He's brought in he's brought in quite a few players actually. He's brought in a player from Nottingham Forest. Um, very good player, young Jack, Jack Mac, Bobby Jack McAleese. McAleese, I think that's his name. Um, he's, and he's brought in a bit of experience as well. So, it's going to be an interesting match. And uh, I'm going to be there to do it. Now, what I will say is the Portster pitch is in bad shape. Fortunately, after the last game of the season, the pitch is getting closed down and they're going to vertically cut it. And, um, all sorts of stuff and they're going to get a new load of seed down and get it ready for next season. Anyway, next stop, Sea Haven Port Stewart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the players, officials and supporters of Lisburn Distillery here for this afternoon's league game. Port Stewart team being led out by our mascots. Uh, members of our 2015 Academy team. So we get up. Don't feel her. Come on. because they put their hands up. He wasn't going to blow the whistle. He's right blowing the whistle. Them boys were three yards away when they touched him. Don't! Tossie, stand in front of him! Tossie! Tossie! Stand in front of him! Stand in front of him! Stand in front of him! Pulley! Oh, that worked. Oh, right. Right. So you're marking nobody, Shay. Shay, come and press the ball. Ten minutes into this match, and it's been action, action, action already. Port Stewart had a one-on-one. -on -one. Slipped it wide, pitch didn't help. Then there was an indirect free kick, ten yards out, after the keeper picked up a back pass. Um, we've a uh, squaring up. That's what you get at this level, it's brilliant. Hey? Yeah. 
One early port shirt. Glenn Law with an absolute rasper into the top corner. It was fantastic. Uh, that's a good game. They're making a good game on a poor pitch. Brilliant, we man. Go on, Doc. Jordan! 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 Jordan!
Go down if you're hurt. If you're not, come on the fucking leg. Absolute fucking shape bag. No, you're a fucking absolute shape bag. Brutal decision referee. Brutal. Here's the old cock. Fucking brutal. Here's the old cock. Absolutely fucking brutal. You see him? What do you do? I don't know. I don't know. I never called that before. My father never called that before. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. Put the mic there. Fuck's sake. Fucking bottled it as usual. Absolutely fucking brutal. Oh, damn it. That's the heavy t shirt I got. Oh. That's a that's oh, 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 Simply packing somebody your own size. Oh, 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 Ten minutes left here. It's one hot. It's such a good game of football. See if you don't go to a top flight game. Come and watch like this level. Like it's it's, it's so good. Like it's entertainment. You know, maybe the football's not as good, but my God, it's entertaining. And the slabbering sidelines is class. There is bastard good defender. Oh, oh, some header. This way, this way. Go on, go on. Oh, the bobble, you. Oh, 
He's off. He's off. That's a second. What? Put shirt down to 10 men here. Injury time, free kick. Young Laws over this here. He can hit a free. Top right. He did. Oh, you bastard. Still there, still there, still there, still there. He did it. Johnny, that's an entertaining game today, but I don't want to talk about today. I want to talk about the season. You had to start with more or less a new team. How do you think the season's gone? It's been tough, to be honest, but uh, you know we knew at the start of the year staying up would be a, a massive bonus with the amount of young players we've brought in. Some of them have excelled and some of them have struggled. And you know the senior players we have in the team have been absolutely brilliant, both in the way they've played and how they've developed some of the young boys Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So at the end of the day, last week, it's one made us safe. So it's a bonus that we are safe because I would say we're the youngest team in the league, which playing young boys is always taking a chance and, and putting them in, but we had no choice. And then one more thing, this level of football, it's the third level in Northern Ireland, like it's forgotten about. What would you say to people, you know, to, to get them to come and watch this? Well, just as you said at the start of the interview, it's a, it was an entertaining match. Plenty of opportunities. There's nothing left uh, in the changing rooms. Everybody's held for the other, and it's, it's good football to watch. You know, it can be, as you go up the leagues, it can become quite boring at times, but you certainly get entertainment uh, when you come here, that's for sure. And, you know, this league is full of teams who just go out all out to win games, you know, and, you know, that's why it's so entertaining. And, Fair play to the Stallery and Barry, they, he's certainly turned them around and you know we're delighted that we're we're on a level pair with them, uh, you know, this year, but we'll certainly improve next year, that's for sure. Brilliant Johnny, thank you. Barry. What a season you've had. First season here at the Stallery in this league. How do you feel that it's gone? Uh, it's certainly a season of two halves. First half of the season I'd rather forget about. You know, it was it was uh, it was mental. Getting players in with two players, possibly three I think. From the previous from the previous season so it was just a case of getting numbers in and trying to build a squad we got a squad together it was competitive some games it was very young so we weren't getting that consistency and then as we went along through the season we kind of identified targets that we knew would make us stronger we went and pursued those targets got them in and the difference between the first half of the season second half of the season with those players in has been night and day so satisfying second half of the season but a frustrating first half and then going looking ahead the next season you've laid a foundation now you keep a lot of these boys, bring in new boys, and you push on next year? Yeah, well, I, I touched on this last week on our, on our own station that I've already agreed deals in principle with a few, well, four players maybe, uh, about coming in next year, and they'll, they'll make a difference, but it's important we keep the players we have. I know because of performances, the likes of Josh Lynch, who's outstanding, you know, Johnny Angus, outstanding for us. Jordan Shear has been brilliant, you know, clearly teams are going to be watching them players and, and maybe trying to get nipped them away from us but we'll we'll do our best to hold on to them and build build a, a squad around those players because if we keep those players and add three or four there's no reason why we can't be competitive at the top end of that table. And one more thing, I asked Johnny this here and I'll ask you, why should people come and watch this level? Why you know that they play this level at the same time as the top flight and the championship. Why should people come and watch this? Listen, it's on it's it is underrated, I'm not joking. I, I was Balamina District last year and even the jump from Balamina District to the the Premier at the immediate, it's unbelievable. The fitness, the dedication, you know, the application of the players is night and day. And when they come, they see decent football, a lot of physical football. You know, they see players who, who just leave everything on the line. I love it. It's, it reminds me of myself as a player. It's the type of league I would lo love to have played in myself and Ryan Catney and George McMullen. We often talk about it. It's a, it's a good league. It's an exciting league. There's not much difference in all the teams. So you always get a good competitive game. It's very rarely it's a four or five nil. You know, winning any game, it's, it's always one or two goals maybe is a difference. So, listen, it's a good product and I think it should be um, publicised more. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. And there we have it. 
one all draw today between Port Stewart and Distillery. Um, entertaining. And that's why I asked Barry and I asked Johnny, why should people come and watch that there? Entertaining. It's just, like, players are just, they just want to win their battles, um, fight for everything. There's no, there's no glamour in it. It's just proper good players who want to, to win and battle and I, I can't really say much more than that there. It's a league that's overlooked. There's no, no point in lying. It's overlooked. It's just there. Um, it's called the Premier Intermediate League. It's under the Niffle umbrella. It's a league that nobody talks about. The scores aren't a flash score. Um, a, the league's an afterthought. People are look at it disparagingly. I think that's the right word. Uh, there's not big crowds that go there. Although I think there was a there was a decent crowd there the day they were all sort of standing down the side where I was at, and everybody really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. And how can that league grow? The only way that league can grow is if the games are at different times in the top flight games championships. Something should be looked at, shouldn't it? Anyway, entertainment at Port Stewart again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share and all that jazz. And we go again.